Today we're going to be talking about Pisces men and what to look out for. Hello my little wonder bugs, welcome back to my channel and for those of you that are new, my name is Maria Soul. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader and here on my channel we talk about divination, witchcraft and a lifestyle. And today we're going to be talking about Pisces men, but mostly how they are in a relationship when they're in love and if you're dating them, some stuff that you might want to know about them. And if you're interested in other videos related to the astrological signs, and how they are when you're dating them, check the little question mark or exclamation mark that should be around here and you'll see a bunch of other videos that you can check out. But before we start, just to let you know, if you go to the link that's right about here, it should be somewhere here, you can find all my social media, uh, where to go to get a tarot card reading, or if you want to support the channel by joining the Patreon, it's all in that link and there's also the link down below in the information section as well. So with further ado, let's get on with it. Now a little disclaimer before we start, I want to say that not all Pisces men are going to be like this. They are going to differentiate depending on their birth chart. So if they have like a lot of earth in their birth chart, they might not do this as much. And, you know, other elements that they might have in their birth chart will determine the intensity of them doing any of this stuff that I'm going to mention right now. But for the most part, they do all this. Just depending on their birth chart depends on the intensity of how much they do this. Now, first thing about a Pisces men, they have a tendency of falling in love very, very quick. And when I mean quick, I mean like split second. So if you start dating one, um, they will fall in love with you very, very quickly or they'll get very attached very quick. The downside to this as just as quickly as they fall in love is just as quickly as they fall out of love. So if you are dating a Pisces man, this could be a really big issue for you, you know, especially if there isn't enough grounding in the relationship meaning a foundation of you know that this is not just a relationship of feelings that can go and come whenever they want you know if you can manage that and ground a pisces then that relationship can last a little bit longer but for the most part pisces fall in and out of love very very quickly but when they are in love the love is very intense and not just in romantic relationships. This could be friendships. This could be um, things that they love to do. They could be really in love with a particular subject or thing that they want to study or, or that they collect. And then all of a sudden they're just like, I'm over it. And they completely lose all interest in it. And it becomes more of a burden for them than something that they actually loved to do. Maybe like, three weeks ago. The other thing that Pisces has a tendency of doing is fitting a mold of what society expects him to be as a man. So if he was raised a certain way, he's going to think a certain way of how he's supposed to be. And in a sense, he might actually not be himself when you meet him because he might be giving you the persona that he was either raised to believe that he has to be and not the person that he really is. And this could really hinder a relationship in the long run. And that's the sad part because sometimes they lose themselves in being that persona that they believe they have to be to win you over and to make you like them and accept them. Even if you're not really accepting who they are because you didn't get a chance to actually get to know who they really are. The next thing is Pisces really loves having emotional sex. Now, when it comes to emotional sex, what I really mean is they can be kinky, just like a normal person would be, I suppose, 
but their kink is related to an emotional connection of some sort, or it's connected to some sort of emotional trauma or um, emotional event that happened to them, and it becomes a kink. Now, again, not all Pisces have this. Some Pisces are very normal when they have sex. It's very like, you know, vanilla. But when it comes to certain Pisces, that can be very intense. Their sex can be very emotionally intense. And if they have kinks, which a lot of us do, those kinks can become very, very kinky, I guess you could say. But they're very emotionally driven by an emotional trauma or an emotional event that really molded their sexual drive. Now, as I said before, Pisces, when they love you, they really love you. But, you know, if that illusion of love that they have for you, whether it's real love or not, if they're not excited as they were when they first met you, meaning the honeymoon stage, if they lose that, it's pretty much over. They just don't. It's really hard for them to continue loving someone when that emotional spark of the first kiss uh, the first time that you guys are together sexually if that spark even slightly dulls they will want to leave the relationship thinking that the relationship isn't good because they don't have that same spark and excitement that they did the first time that they kissed you or the first time that they made love to you and it's again you have to as a as a, a a partner to a Pisces, you have to give them some grounding because if you don't, if you let them sort of live in that fantasy world of love, they get carried away and they put more on that fantasy than, you, than even you as a normal human being can bring to the table. They also have a tendency to lie a lot and not because they don't like you or anything in that nature. Not, you know, it's not a a, a, a lying to be evil or um, conniving or anything like that. It's mostly because they're afraid of being judged. They're so afraid that you won't like them, that they will become somebody that they're not just to make you happy. So then you stay and they can basically have that emotional I guess you could say connection that they get from you and they will continue to tell you that they love NASCAR even though they can't stand it they will act like if they give a shit <laughs> which can be a little bit dangerous for their mental health because they can become actually very codependent because of this fear of being judged and again when he is pressured to be somebody that he's not because he really, really, really wants you. When he stops li liking you or wanting you that way or having those feelings or having that drug of love and emotion that he gets from you, and then all of a sudden that real side of him comes out because at that point, you're not valuable to him. You're not giving him that emotional connection, that spark, that excitement that he needs, that he feeds off of. And because of that, he will might get a little ugly and um but he still won't be like vicious like he won't be mean but he'll like ghost you or he won't um answer your text well ghost you yeah he won't answer your text message um and he'll avoid you because he again is afraid that you won't like him even though you're not giving him the emotional connection that that drug of feelings of love that he needs from you he can't get that from you but he still will not show you a mean side to him because he still wants you to like him because that side of him is so strong that he can't handle somebody disliking him but he will still run away because he doesn't want to deal with you you're you at that point you've become a bit of a burden to him and also Pisces have a tendency of being loners. They tend to be um, not social butterflies. They like their alone time. They like to be by themselves to think because they do tend to think a lot and overthink things. 
they have this tendency that they need to be alone so then they can actually be themselves because that's the only time that they actually can be themselves because there's no one that they have to um, prove to that they're a good person or um, give that impression of being more than what they are for then that person can like them because it's not even it's not just with like the person that they're dating this is with everybody but more so with the person that they're dating and that's why them having alone time is so valuable to them because it's the only time that they can actually truly decompress and just be themselves so if you are dating a pisces man this is like when they say i want to be alone they really mean it they they need it it's it's like they need to recharge a very good thing about dating a pisces man or pisces period is that they are very compassionate they will look the other way at red flags in a relationship just because they want to accept you because they dream of being accepted for who they are so they do that back to you and just accept you for who you are and that is something that you can really feel from a pisces when you are dating them or even when you're friends with them you could do something horrible and they will just be like yeah i understand your point of view because they actually do listen. They like to listen to the person that they are dating or even a friend, it doesn't really matter. They will listen to the conversation. They will hear you out. They will show you compassion and love. And even if they are angry at you, they will still do this. If you're planning on giving a gift to a Pisces man, just remember that for them, it's all about emotion and emotional connection. So give them something that could spark an emotional reaction. So don't just give them um, a coupon or a, a gift certificate. Give them something that means something, something that would connect them to you. So for instance, you can take a selfie photo that you and him took together on like your first date or the day that you guys first kissed or something within that nature and print it out, frame it and give it to him that would be a sentimental emotional connection there they would value that over having a, a video game given to them unless the video game has an emotional connection of some sort and last but not least as i mentioned before when a pisces does love you whether it's in the honeymoon stage or they actually stay afterwards they do love you at that moment in time they would die for you they have this overwhelming love for someone when they are with them that can really just be mind-boggling to some people so it could it could really change you as a person and really put a higher standard on you when you if if and when you date other people it can actually raise the the, the bar on what you expect from a man so just remember that because even though Pisces men have a lot of flaws with stamina or uh, endurance in a relationship. When you're with them, you feel like you are the queen. You are the, the most beautiful, perfect creature that has ever existed in their eyes. If you've never felt that, if you've never experienced that, trust me, it's, it's pretty damn good. It makes you feel like you can take on the whole entire world. Like nothing could ever, ever be that bad that you wouldn't be happy at that moment, if that makes any sense. All right, my little wonder bugs, that is the video for today. If you guys have any questions or wants to let me know about your experience dating a Pisces man, leave the comments down below. Also, I am going to do another video about this eventually. So let me know if you guys have any requests for what sign you want me to do next. I'm considering doing Capricorn, but if enough people comment and give me a certain sign that they want, I will do that sign instead. Other than that, the next video is gonna probably be Capricorn. Capricornio. Either than that, remember to like, share, and subscribe to this video and my channel and hit that notification button to let you know when lovely me comes out with a video other than that guys much love and blessings